everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be showing you some products from Fenty Beauty. I'm going to give you a slight review of what I thought, like first impressions, and I'm also going to go run through the actual application process of these products in this tutorial, so the look I'm doing right now, or I'm wearing right now. Um, if you're interested in seeing that um, and learning more about the Fenty Beauty line, then please keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I have the foundation. Um, so I just opened this up, but the product comes in this really cute box. Um, the packaging is definitely nice. This is like a real glass bottle. Um, it just seems very luxurious. And you get in here 1.08 fluid ounces, so pretty standard, about one ounce. A um, typical size foundation, and this retails for I believe $38. Mm. So I guess it's available for like a luxury or mid-range kind of product. So this is from Sephora and exclusively at Sephora. So being at Sephora, I think that's a pretty typical product. Um, this is like a pretty mattifying formula. It says that it's a pro filter soft matte long wear foundation. I'm gonna moisturize pretty heavily in this video because I have more like dry to combination skin. If you have more oily skin, you might wanna use a more lightweight moisturizer under this, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thicker um, like Primer. So I'm going to be using the Ember Elise Creme Concentrate. It's like a professional product so you can find it like iMats and um, online as well. So I'm going to use a really small amount because this goes a very long way. So just using like a pea sized amount I'm going to apply this to my entire face. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply like a glowing product. There are a few areas where I have enlarged pores, you can see I have a few breakouts as well. So in those areas specifically, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. This is just a little uh, sample size, but this is a cooling matte skin primer. So I'm going to use a very small amount. This is almost like a silicone formula. And I'm going to use this right where my enlarged pores are to help mattify. And I know you guys are going to be thinking like, what the hell she's using, like three primers in this video. You know, one is more of like a moisturizer. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I have very, very combination skin. So I love mixing up my primers as well as my masks, my face masks. So whatever works for you is ideal. But I would say definitely for this one, at least use some moisturizer before you apply the foundation. Okay, up next I'm going to be using the Estee Edit. Beam Balm Hydrate and Glow. So this is a moisturizing and glowing kind of primer product. Um, it's very glowy. This reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier primers, that um, the illuminating ones. So if you like those, this is very similar. Adds an instant glow to the skin. Um, when I saw the ads for the Fenty Beauty line, the first thing that really stuck out to me was that they had a very glowy fresh skin and that definitely was appealing to me so that's the kind of look that i'm going for today um, if you want more of a mattified look you can definitely achieve that with this foundation but i wanted to get more of like a natural slightly glowy skin even though this is a mattifying product so i'm using a few products to kind of amp up the glow i'm going to be using the actual powder powder highlight as well I'm go ahead and zoom you guys in so i can show you the actual foundation demonstration Okay, so you guys are super zoomed in here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation right after doing my eyebrows. So first I'm going to just do my brows really how I typically do. So I'm going to go ahead and use my spoolie. Just to brush them out. I want a very wispy brow for this look. Um, and I'm going to be using my NYX Micro Pencil. So I'm going to go very basic for the brows. I'm going to use this and then a little bit of the Cabrow from Benefit just to amp up towards the ends of my eyebrows where they're very pretty sparse. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how they look. So next I'm going to be using my Real Techniques brush and my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to really shape my eyebrows a little bit more while keeping them pretty natural looking. Um, I chose to use a Real Techniques brush, uh, not brush, sponge, because it's really similar to the one that the Fenty Beauty line um, released. It's like the same exact shape. So if you're interested in that one but they're sold out or you just can't access it, I would definitely look into the Real Techniques one because they're more affordable. They're like $6 and they're pretty accessible in like your local drugstore. That's where I found mine. Okay, so I'm gonna just use my concealer and just shape the bottom a little bit to add some definition to my eyebrows. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my eyebrows and now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty foundation. 
Um, I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand. I do love that this foundation comes with a pump. And I'm going to start with three pumps. The pumps uh, release just a little bit, which is nice because you can really control how much product you get. So I'm going to put three pumps on the back of my hand and use my Real Technique sponge to apply that to my skin. I'm going to start in the center of the face and just blend a little out. I'm glad this looks like it's a good shade so far. I was a little worried about that. I know it's always hard. I went by my color IQ number, um, which seemed to be integrated on the Sephora website. So if you're not sure which color, um, you can definitely um, enter in like a foundation that you've used before that was a good shade and try to get your closest match when shopping online. But if you do have a store near you, I do suggest just going in and having somebody test the foundation on you so you can make sure that it's like the perfect match because this isn't always a foolproof way. But it definitely did work this time. It seems to blend in with my neck um, and with my forehead. And it's a little tricky because right now I have a little bit of remnants of being in the sun. But this seems to look really good. Um, it definitely is like a medium coverage foundation. I'm not getting like completely full coverage, which I like. That's like really my preferred kind of foundation. So you can um, like add more coverage by building it up or um, just keep more of a natural look for every day. So I'm going in with one more pump towards the center of my face where I have these breakouts and a little bit more discoloration and bring a little bit down onto my neck just kind of whatever is left on the sponge but like I said this does seem to match my neck and forehead pretty well which I'm happy about okay and next I'm gonna go in with my concealer my NARS radiant creamy concealer in ginger and I'm just gonna really brighten up under my eyes um, sometimes I like to go in with a corrector, but today I'm just going to keep it uh, easy peasy, keep my skin really fresh, and just go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm going to just do like a little triangle shape under my eye. And I like to also bring it into the inner corner because I have a bunch of darkness there too. I like to go right up to the lashes because for me I really do have a lot of darkness right under the eye. Just tapping a little. Okay and next I'm going to go ahead and set the powder. So for that I'm using my Laura Mercier um, translucent loose setting powder. I love this stuff. This is like Holy Grail. Um, this is my second one of these. It's really a great mattifying powder um, that helps your makeup set and last much, much longer. So I'm going to go with the other end of the beauty, um, not blender, with the beauty sponge. And I'm going to just tap this under my eyes and on those areas where I apply the concealer. Now, the trick here is to really set it before your concealer starts to crease. So work quickly or re-blend that concealer if it's creased a little bit. a little bit more a lot more powder um, just to set right there really really well just chilling out I'm gonna go ahead and start my eyeshadow so for my eyeshadow look today I'm going pretty simple I'm gonna use a cream pigment all over my eyelids and um, a little bit of eyeshadow just to enhance the look um, so I'm going with Hikari cream pigment um, and this one is in Latte, and I love this brand. They have such great products, and I really, really love this one. Um, this one is from If Seek, so if you're subscribed, you might have received this product in the past. It's just a really pretty, like, bronzy, foily cream shadow. And I really don't use cream shadows enough, so I really try to use this as often as possible because I really, really love how it works. You can see, even... If you're going out, you can just apply a shadow like that all over and get a really beautiful eyeshadow look that looks 
definitely more complex than just dabbing, you know? So first I'm just going to soften the edge of that cream shadow with this blending brush. This is a synthetic blending brush from Glamour Dolls and I really, really love this brush. It works so well. Um, and this again from Ipsy. I really do love getting the Ipsy products because you get so many great ones and discover so many new brands. Perfect. Okay, and next I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with a neutral um, matte color. So I'm using the Neat Matte Trimini um, set. I'm going to use Matte Lin just right under the eyebrow. So this really neutral, creamy shade. And that just brightens the eyes a little bit and sets off that, that creamy eyeshadow. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. I know this is an oldie, but a goodie. And I'm just going to use a few neutral shades from here. So I'm going to go in with Soft Peach and Morocco, um, just to smoke out that area. And then a little bit of fudge, this chocolatey brown, to really intensify the outer corner. Okay, now that our eyeshadow is done, I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. And this is the Tartiste Clay Paint Liner. It's like a cream eyeliner that just comes out of a little tube. And I really love this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some winged eyeliner. I just finished up my eyeliner and I'm gonna intensify the crease a little bit more with that fudge color so just adding a little bit on my fluffy brush and adding that in I hear my dog she's like sniffing around here she is little pebbles say hi hi hello world Okay, she wants to be put down. <laughs> and now I'm going to balance out the eyes by just adding a little bit of eyeshadow underneath. I know we haven't wiped this away yet, but I'm really letting it sit. So I'm applying a little bit of this caramel kind of color, Morocco. And I'm going to apply that just along the lashes under my eye with, again, a fluffy brush. This is a little bit larger than um, I typically use, but I really want a smoky look. So if you want something a little less smoky or more everyday, you can use a more narrow brush to apply the eyeshadow under your eye. Cool. And then just a little bit of that fudge chocolatey brown color using a more narrow brush. I'm just going to apply that right along the lashes. Okay, so for my mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love this stuff. And I'm just going to apply a really nice thick coat. Okay, next I'm using this Physicians Formula Warm Nude Eyes Eyeliner. This is like a retractable eyeliner. And this is the black color. And I'm not sure if it says which one. It's part of the eyeliner trio. Okay, now that I have my eyeliner and my eyeshadow all set, I'm going to go ahead and apply some false eyelashes and I will be right back and we are going to finish up the face. Okay, so I'm just zooming you guys out so you can see the full picture of what we're working with now. I'm going to now um, fluff off this powder finally. Um, I'm just going to use this big fluffy brush that I had before and I'm just going to remove the powder that's under my eyes. And doing this, try to get your hair out of the way because I've like fluffed it into my hair before and it's kind of a nightmare. So just be a little careful if you're wearing black or if you have your hair in your face. So just anywhere we have that powder set, we're going to just remove it. And we're going to go in with some contouring. 
first I'm going to use the Cheek Parade from Benefit and I love this set. I don't think it's available anymore. I'm not exactly sure actually. But it is a great product because you get um, five different full-sized Benefit blushes and a little brush, which I love this brush. So I'm going to start with Hula Light, which is actually a new product um, from Benefit. And I'm going to use the brush that comes in the kit. Um, I love this brush because it really is great at just tucking right under your cheekbone and hugging it. I'm going to first use the Hula Light to just bronze up and warm up the skin. So I'm just using that brush to light feathery strokes down the cheekbone, back and forth, but not really into that hollow. I'm going to bring it up around the temple onto the forehead. You can see it's very subtle, but it does definitely warm up the skin. Going in with Hula, the original Hula, to more like contour. This is a pretty cool tone bronzer um, for me, just because my skin is so, so yellow. <laughs> Not so yellow, but it's, it is definitely more on the warm side. So for me, this is more cool tone for me. Um, so I can use it for contouring. But if this powder doesn't work, definitely go for more of a cool toned bronzer um, or contouring powder that will work for you and really contour rather than um, bronze too much. So I'm just scooping this under the cheek into that hollow and then bringing the brush up to blend. And I feel like just bringing this up is really what gets your contour to be um, very flawless, seamless, and not like a straight line. Um, so if you have that problem, do try just bl brushing upward when you're contouring. So starting right here at the tip of the ear, and then bringing it down and fluffing up. And then bringing it up around the sides of the face. Again, just kind of bringing it to the tumbles. I have a pretty big forehead, so I like to contour a little bit. And I have a pretty big nose, so I'm going to contour a little bit with that powder as well. Here I'm being a little bit more specific than I was with that Hula Light, where I was kind of just fluffing it everywhere. And I'm also going to hit a little under the lip to make my lips look a little fuller. And along the jaw just a little bit. So I'm going to use California from Benefit. This is one of their box blushes, um, and I love this color because it's just really very flattering for like, tan, medium skin tones, and even dark skin tones because it's a very like strong orange color that just brings such a vibrancy and warmth to the skin, and it has a slight like demi sheen. So I'm bringing a little bit onto the little brush that comes with it, and I'm going to hit like the tops of the cheekbones more towards um, the edges of my face. So I'm bringing it too much into the area near my nose because I do tend to get a little red there. So I don't want to accentuate that too much. And then the last two products I'm going to use are, or around the last two, are from Fenty Beauty. So I'm going to go in with the um, Freestyle Highlighter. And this is in Kilowatt, which I haven't seen really many people, or actually this is in Metal Moon, sorry. I haven't seen many people use this one, um, so I've seen a lot of like the golden ones, but this is that like pure white iridescent highlighter, so if you're interested in seeing it, this is what it looks like. It has this beautiful white, very luxurious packaging, I don't know if you can see that, and um, it has a bit of an iridescence to the packaging itself, which is really pretty. So I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath Buffer Brush. This came with like the highlighters from before, and actually in formula this is pretty similar. Um, so for comparison, this is the iridescent pink pigment from Pat McGrath. So if you did miss out on this, um, this other product is somewhat similar. I will say it doesn't have like a red sheen like the Pat McGrath does. It really has more of a golden sheen. I'm just gonna touch the tops of my cheekbones with it. That is so pretty. And this is one of the more um, subtle highlighters in her line. This isn't like pure gold glitter, but it's still so pretty. 
It definitely has an iridescence to it that I'm really digging. Okay, it's like a golden iridescent. So if you're too worried about like iridescent things being more purple, you won't have to worry too much with this. I'm gonna put a little under my eyebrows. Just to bring the look together a little bit, balance it out. And a little down the nose. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed and maybe you learned something new about a product. I really enjoyed doing this for you. Um, and let me know if there are any other videos that you'd like to see in the near future by commenting down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, um, just go ahead and check off that little bell down below so you get any notifications of when new videos come along. I'm right now uploading one video a week. Um, but definitely want to get that to more of a regular status so you guys can get more from me more often.